Welcome back to Keeper RL and Mort of Nordry. I'm Hussus McCabe, and you have better hair than me. When we last left off, we had triggered this red dragon, Lagar Fajurslop, <laughs> and Delphi the Elementalist, Elementalist, who has a much easier name to pronounce than the red dragon. What it does bring to, or what triggering them brings to my attention, though, is I have done really nothing to prepare our main entrance for attacks. So we need to figure out what we're going to do about that. And I think to begin with, what we need to do, who are you? Oh, you're just coming back. Yeah, one of our guys that's collapsed. So what we're going to do to begin with is, I believe I want to select advanced necromancy because then we can make these vampire warriors, the vampire brutes, and the vampire nobles. I think the nobles must be spellcasters. I don't know what the brutes are. And the warriors are, are presumably warriors. So, But I'm going to assume that all of them are better than our respective zombie versions or skeletal versions. So let's take that and we can make those at the morgue table. So let's go down a level and head over to the morgue table. Let's schedule some stuff to be made. Oh, well, they take a lot of corpses, but we have plenty. So the vampire warriors look like they are, oh my gosh, and you can upgrade them with five balsams. That's amazing. Okay, and uh, so these guys are warriors. These guys look like they are... Oh, this is interesting. Okay, these guys start with lower attack uh, than the Brutes, but they can get up to seven training by default, and these can only get up to three. The Nobles, they can have more table training, so we could actually have one of these guys do... Oh, look at that. They also have laboratory training, and they get zombie mage skill, which is what Mort and our zombie mages have, and they also get illusion and are upgradable to five balsams. You know what? Vampires might regenerate. Let's make one of each and see how they look. Wait, hold on. We need to give them some... No, you know what? We're just going to make them and then we will take a look at their abilities and then we'll figure out what balsams to add. Meanwhile, we want to... Oh, you know what? I also was thinking we could go down... I think it's level 13 has the... Yeah, has the adoxium. Or excuse me, ad adamantium. What I want to do, you can see there's something happening here. So we're going to tell our zombie diggers to dig here. And I'm actually going to prioritize that so that it happens while I'm watching. I want to see what this space is. Is this Shorn or Sosa? No. Huh. Oh, this is just water. Hmm. Oh, first of all, we should be on very fast. I'm going to dig this stuff out and because I, I want to refresh my memory about what... Oh, you know what? I don't need to prioritize because they have no other tasks right now. I'll refresh my memory about what happens with this. Oh, we've got our vampire warrior. We'll go check on that in a moment. And so these might be adamantium golems. Oh, there's a room up here. Okay, more. Be careful, please. Oh, this is Sosa. Hey, Sosa. How are you? Okay, let's, oops, let's dig this out. Oh look, we have a collapsed skeleton warrior. Let's, I don't know what's up here. Hmm. Well, I still want to find out. Now, can we protect ourselves? You know what we're going to do is set up an eyeball. We're going to put that eyeball here so we can watch what's going on on this level at all times. And then we'll dig this out and take a look and put some torches in here. I believe the range of the eyeball is, like I think we'll be able to see all the way down here with this eyeball once the torch is lit. Okay, let's dig this out. You can see our vampire nobles and brutes are training, which is great. This seems very risky, but we're gonna try it. Okay, hold on. Before we do any more of this, let's go look at our people. So the Brute. The Brute is a swimmer, resistant to range. Oh, the Brutes fly. Wait a minute, do the warriors fly? No, they are riders and can see in the dark. Uh, they're all um, vulnerable to sunlight. Or are they? Oh, look at this. The, the, the noble, nobles are by definition sources of darkness. Well, 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 very nice. Okay, first let's look at the Brute. The Brute is vulnerable to sunlight. The Noble is not. The Warriors are also vulnerable to sunlight. The Warriors, uh, with all this equipment, see, they're swimmers, 
resistant to ranged, and they can ride. And that seems to be... Oh, and then, of course, they have their in intrinsic bite. And it can, it can cause them to bleed. They also... Attacker affected by regrow lost body parts. Extra attack in addition to wielded weapons. So, it seems like... I don't know if they can always regrow body parts, or if they have to bite somebody to regrow body parts, but we can find that out. That's pretty awesome. Oh, Delphi is asking for gold to not attack. We're not going to agree. Instead, we're going to pause. And this was a little bit sooner than I was prepared for. So let's get over to... Okay, this is not good. We are going to set up... Okay, okay. Well, let's do guard area one. These are going to be our melee guys. Let's do guard area two. These can be our archers. Actually, guard area two can be filled with archers and spellcasters. So we've got our archers and our mages on guard zone two. We've got our vampire warrior, our vampire brute, and all of our warriors, uh, skeleton warriors, excuse me, on guard zone one. By the way, this is why I put the eyeball out here because we can see that here is Delphi. She's bringing along her friends. We're, we're probably gonna get hammered here. I probably should have paid the, the price, but let's just see what happens. Let's go down to normal, uh, normal speed. Okay, here come our archers. Okay, it looks like they're preparing. She's maybe summoning. Yes, yeah, she seems like she's summoning some elementals. This guy's flying. So cool. Resistant to range, flying, can see in the dark. Okay, they just beat down our wall. Okay, here they come. Let's see how we do. Look at all those flies. Okay, we beat those... Uh, those look like water elementals, but maybe they're stone? It's nighttime. Do we want to take advantage of it being nighttime at all? We could take one of our elven archers. Do any of these guys have... Oh, yeah, see, they're all resistant to ranged, which... Okay, let's see what happens. So we've got our eyeball watching things. Okay, they're making another go of it here. Let's see how we do. Hey! Oh! What was a zombie doing there? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Orders. Forbid zone. Right there. We don't want any of our zombies up here. But we also need to check to see... Okay, it wasn't Sosa or Shorn, so we care less. Why are you here, zombie? Get out of here. Oh, what is this? A hand torch? Let's see what she does. I think she's going to bail on us, which is a problem, because attacking her in her home is nearly impossible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control this guy, and I'm going to move him here. I'm going to say, yes, you can go over the forbidden zone. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Okay, we're gonna move back. Oh no, confirm. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, we're on fire. Yes, confirm. And then we're gonna exit control mode for you. We lost a bunch of flies. Oh, because they just died off. See, all these flies are useless to us. Where'd she go? Did they... Oh, she took out our eyeball. So now we can't see. But here they come. Somebody's coming. Yeah, I'm not too worried here. So now we just have to wait. I'm just gonna speed it up because I don't I don't think there's a whole lot we can do. We need this fire to go out. So let her keep attacking us. I think she's leaving. Look at that. I think she's leaving. So we either need to wait for her to come back or we need to attack her in her in her domain and attacking her in her little elementalist tower is extremely difficult it's still nighttime let's go let's control this guy yes confirm what's up here whipping everybody okay yeah she's gone we're going to uncontrol you we're going to Clear this zone. And this eye this eyeball needs to be planned. We're gonna set up another eyeball. We're gonna set up an eyeball here and an eyeball here so that if the entrance is somehow affected again, we'll still be able to see. And we'll put do we need torches there? I guess we don't really. We want to go down to our morgue tables and 
Let's make a bunch of these warriors. We'll make like 10 of them. Okay, hold on a second. Before we make any of these, just a second, let's make some more balsams. Let's think about this. I think having extra heads is always cool. We do have some, I think we have five of the multi-armed. Uh, we already have plenty of defense bonus. Let's make 10 of these. Greater defense bonus, greater damage bonus. Oh, we could give them swarming. Yes, let's do 10 more of these. They definitely need swarming. Damage training limit. Now, where is our artisan who's supposed to be making this stuff? Oh, okay, he's doing it. And then we're gonna make 10 warriors. And let's make sure that all nobles are restricted from crafting. This is what we're gonna, later we can rejigger because uh, we can actually get a little bit higher than with our artisan. See if we see here, Macbeth has 75. Frankenstein and Macbeth can be replaced with vampire nobles and we can get a little bit higher. And now we can make our vampire warriors. Let's make five and we're gonna do damage training limit. Yep, we want swarming, defense bonus, greater damage bonus. It's four of them. And let's give them multi arms. Okay, let's have those made. We're gonna forge, let's go 10 swords, 10 armors. Okay, that used a lot of our iron, but it's okay. You're still making balsams. Oh, look at check this out. These are our multi arm guys. They have two swords each. Oh, we're going to need more swords. Right, of course we are. Okay, now we're under attack by the red dragon. Okay, let's pause. Here he comes. Vulnerable to range. Really? Okay, so. Well, if our zombies go out here, that's going to be a problem, but let's see what happens with this dragon. Wait, is he going to fire fire at us? Shoot fire at us? Generating immune to fire, flying resistant, capturing steed. Yes, he is going to shoot fire at us. So what I'm going to do is take you, and I'm going to control you. I'm going to take you out here. Okay, now you might be in trouble, but we're going to fire at you. We missed. We, we killed him. We killed him. Amazing. What are you? You're just going to go away? Yeah, you're just going to go away. We did it. And we'll take this red dragon head. The head can be used for undead kings. It grants the ability fire breath. Uh, we're going to take all this stuff, please. We'll take this and this and not the corpse and the head and the scales. And then we're going to exit control mode. And presumably a zombie will come out here and grab this. It's still nighttime. Let's just take control of a zombie. Make sure you are not vulnerable to sunlight. Shorn is vulnerable to sunlight. Oh, all you guys are rolling in sunlight. It doesn't matter. Shorn, uh, does Shorn have infinite carry capacity? You know, somebody does, though. Infinite carry capacity. Let's control you and have you go up to ground level. We still have 400 some odd turns. You can pick this up. And then you can go over here. And then we're going to uncontrol you. And you can go drop that off with our other corpses. There it is, right there. Red dragon corpse. Amazing. Amazing. And we can pillage, although there's not much to pillage, but we did get some gold and... Ooh! Victim affected by fire. We'll take that. And of course we leveled. So what do we want to take? I think we want to take Master Sorcery. What does Master Embalming give us? Oh, Master Necromancy. These are pretty cool. Skeleton King. I, I'm going to wait on that. And do although we also we have archwood so we do we would benefit from creating an archwood staff but let's do master sorcery first let's go down to our training level and put in some gold bookcases do one here one here one here one here and one here Okay, so so far, pretty pretty productive 
episode. Oh, look at all this stuff here. Red dragon scales. Now, if we go... Is it the forge? I don't remember if it's the forge or... No, it's the crafting thing. So let's go back upstairs and go here. And we can make uh, enchanted red dragon scale armor. We can make all these archwood bows, but we're, we're going to use that for stabs instead. Oh, we can make a bunch of sumptuous corn thumbs. They take 40 each. Let's make 10 of those. And I think we're going to have to do this. But I want to... Don't we have a guy who's better at crafting? No, I guess we don't. Let's take a look. Artisans. Crafting 30, crafting 30, crafting 30. Yeah, we don't have... Right, we don't... Oh, 105. Zombie artisan. Okay, so we need to rename you to Craftalicious. And Craftalicious is going to be... Who, who's doing all this stuff? Frankenstein, but I don't want Frankenstein doing this. So we're going to wait until this is done. I think I need to create a room around this and only let Craftalicious in. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is move the Enchanted Workshop here. We'll let that get made. Actually, we're going to uh, get rid of this. Okay, now we're going to build some walls around here. Let's do stone wall. Get rid of that one. This. That way Craft Delicious can fit in there. Then we're going to make a door as soon as that's made. And we can make that door of iron, I think. No, we'll make it a wood. Okay, everybody out. Now we're going to lock this door. And we're going to take control of Craft Delicious. Control Craft Delicious. Send Craft Delicious to level... Two. Send them down here. Oh, okay. Just walk over the water. Enter portal. Now we're going to unlock this door. We're going to send Craft Delicious in here. We're going to lock this door. We're going to exit control mode. And then we are going to set up this enchanted dragon, red dragon scale mail. We're going to upgrade it with our glyph of defense plus three. And we're going to see what happens. Okay. So. It's going to be plus 60. I don't know if Craft Delicious, because they're so good, is going to make this even better than plus 60, but who cares? That's how I set it up. Okay, now it's sitting here. So we can actually take control of Craft Delicious, pick this up, and unlock this door, and go here, enter the portal. Oh, actually, let's lock this door again. Enter the portal and exit control mode. Craftalicious did not drop the armor. Where did you go? Okay, now it's over there. So we're going to put that on Mort. Uh, where? Here it is. Why are you wearing this? No. We're going to put this on Mort. And that is that. Let's go take a look at our morgue table. We should have everybody done here. We do. What? We can create bone dragons? Oh, yeah, that's right. From the red dragon skeleton. Oh my gosh. Okay, clearly we're going to need to get Master Necromancy. That is so cool. Let's take a look at our... Now, why don't we have more warriors? I thought we... Oh, I only made five. Because we didn't have... We didn't have the balsams I wanted. So, now we need greater damage bonus. Let's do extra heads for them. Let's do greater defense bonus, swarming, damage training limit. Yeah, so they get extra heads instead of extra arms. Okay, we're going to let those guys get made. And then we'll make sure they have enough equipment. Oh, do we have enough coffins now? I think it's time to dig this out. We probably have enough coffins, but can't hurt to do this.
Okay, so while they're digging that stuff out and our people are being made, how much experience do we need? Oh, quite a bit to get to the next level. We can give them wings. I thought we couldn't give them extra heads. We can give them uh, swarming, though. I think we need to give them extra heads. I didn't think we could, actually, but... Cool, we're going to have two-headed skeleton wolves. Very nice. Okay, everybody's done. Okay, and then they're training now. Let's go to the training. Okay, so all our guys are made, and they are training. You can see all the warriors are training here. What we're going to do is make a dark group, like a nighttime group. Uh, so, new team, zombie mages, vampire warriors, vampire brute, I think that's good. Yeah, because the wait, the zombie mages, they are light sensitive, right? Oh no, because I made them all sources of darkness. And there's there's no reason to not bring these archers. Yeah, I like it. Oh, and we can bring the noble, right? Yeah. So once these guys are all trained up, we can go attack something. So I'll come back when everybody's done. Okay, we're back. These guys, there's still some of them who are not up to level 10, but we're running out of night and I'm impatient. We're gonna send our guys out to this cave with these kobolds. So let's activate this group and we're gonna head out. Where'd they go? We're gonna head out to this cave of kobolds. Okay, we have 860 turns of night and there's just this one question mark here, which is a little bit disappointing, honestly. Let's take a look. Okay, everybody catch up, please. Okay, we took out something, but we don't care that much. You're a bunch of kobolds, right? Oh, goblins. Sorry, goblins. That's what I meant to say. Dangerous? I wonder what dangerous means. Are you not hostile? Oh, you're not hostile. Oh. You're not hostile. Okay, let's go somewhere else. We'll deal with them another time. Took them out. Okay, fine. Let's do this giant spider. This one has four question marks, so we should be able to kick some butt. Get some experience. We need a lot of experience to level more up. Okay, here we go. Bunch of dwarves. Bunch of dead dwarves. I guess the noble could make clones of itself, or like spirits of itself. We've got some kobolds down here. We're gonna get two of these question marks at once. Dwarves are down. Kobolds are down. Let's just double check that we got everybody here. We did. Very nice. Let's see what's in this chest. Oh, what's that? Hmm. That could be one of our guys. We'll take that. red stuff up here. Look at that. Maybe that's the spider? Let's go find a bridge. Here we go. Okay, everybody come over here. Oh, it looks like everybody... Oh no, the elves can't go across the water. Okay, there's the spider. Let's take... Oh, what's up with this spider? Resistant to range, poison resistant. Fortunately, we're not going to poison. Can you catch up, please? And there's trapped people. Goodbye, goodbye. Giant spiders destroyed. Let's take out these guys. You're dead. You're dead. Trapped in a web, but that's okay. What's wrong? I'm entangled in a web. There we go. Is 
Who's over here? Who's over here? Let's get this last one. We've got 506, so we're fine for time. Dwarves, huh? Boom. 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 Come attack us. Yes, goodbye. What happened there? Oh, I think we're, we're, we're down. Okay, you guys take everybody out. That's everybody. Okay, let's exit control mode. We lost some animated bones, which you don't care about. Some flies. We lost one skeleton wolf. And that's it. And some animated corpses, and we took out all these guys. And those are all done. How are we doing? Okay, we, we've got about a thousand experience from that. Let's... Oh, and we triggered Ruska the Dwarves. Their main villain. That's fine. We don't care. Let's pillage the spiders. Look at all these corpses we got. Uh, we can pillage these dwarves. Oh, we did lose a vampire warrior leg, but I think they regrow them. So I don't really care. That was a super success. And let's put in some coffins, but I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. This has been yet another successful episode. We still haven't gotten the adamantine, which is kind of crazy at this point, but our guys are buff enough that I'm not taking the time to do it. We can dig this out and put a coffin in that one. Very nice, thank you very much. Very nice, now people don't have to go all the way to the front to get to their places. Okay, so as I was saying, that's where we're going to leave it for today. This has actually been yet another very successful episode. We obviously uh, powered up our guys. This is excellent. I'm really having a good time with it. And then next episode, we will very likely do the adamantine. But I mean, I, I may not because as long as we can continue to fight off uh, main villains, I don't care that much. And then my next objective is to get master necromancy because oh my gosh awesome but thank you so much for your support and your viewership i love you very much and please remember to have your pets spayed or neutered